Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Toby and in today's video I am going to be doing a comparison video um, this is between two Benefit mascaras I have the Benefit Roller Lash these are both minis by the way and the Benefit Bad Girl Bang mascara I wasn't going to do any sort of video with this um, it came out like last week I believe or the week before so it is really really new it just appeared in stores here in Australia so I did want to buy I always buy the minis of them just in case I don't like it. I don't want to spend the money on the full size. Um, I wasn't going to do a video as I was saying but I really 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 love this mascara. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments when wearing it so I did want to try it out with the roller lash. Now the roller lash was a seriously popular mascara and I'm so glad I only bought the mini because I really didn't like it. It didn't do anything for my lashes, it didn't really lift them, and it didn't give them any sort of anything. I have very small blonde lashes, so I feel like testing out mascaras on me is either very helpful or really pointless. But I don't have any, I don't have long lashes, and they're not dark. So if the product isn't dark enough or it doesn't do a very good job, it is very obvious on my lashes. So I guess trying it out is beneficial but I just wanted to see a side-by-side -side comparison I don't know it could you know look exactly the same or they could be very different I just want to point out the prices of these in Australian dollars the mini is the is $21 keep in mind it is 24 US dollars for the full-size one which sucks it is 47 or 46 dollars no sorry it's 42 dollars for the full-size one 21 for the mini and same goes with this I think maybe it's $20 for the mini which is ridiculous um you only get is it zero point yeah 0 0.14 ounces of product so that's yeah I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money if these turned out to be bad so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the roller lash there are a lot of people really liked this mascara and as I said I just didn't I don't know I just didn't think it lived up to the hype and it's supposed to give your lashes like a lash lift effect. So, I don't know. I mean, I like it, but I normally will use another mascara with it. Now onto the Bad Gal Bang mascara, which has a completely different wand. Again, I'm not really like a multiple coats kind of person. I just don't have the time for that. Um, my lashes don't usually look that good anyway, so I don't really spend a whole lot of time messing around with it. But this is the difference. As you can see on the Bad Gal Bang side, it actually does go over my eyelid crease and on this side it doesn't. So you can just see it there is just a little bit more voluminous. Voluminous? There's a lot more volume on this side and it's a lot darker and they look a lot more fluttery than the roller lash. Don't get me wrong, the roller lash side, you know, it does a good job, but for me, like they're the same price I'm I'm you know more drawn to the volume of the bad gal bang so I just wanted to read to you what this on the website it says about them so the roller lash is supposed to well 94% of people said that their eyes looked more wide open and this is also supposed to be like bye bye um, to your lash curler it was supposed to be like a replacement like you didn't have to use a lash curler I do have to use a lash color when I'm using this I also like to use it with this one um just again short lashes personal preference but I find that I get the best results with a curling wand curling wand is that even what you even call it curling wand, a lash wand no a lash color I don't know but I find I get the best results using one even though it says you know you don't really need to use it with it so um, it also says it's long lasting and holds its curl and says, oh, and 97% of people said it visibly lifts the lashes. Um, and then it is ju it just claims to be a super curling lifting mascara. Then the Bad Gal Bang um, says it is 36 hours of full blast volume and it is pretty long lasting. I don't leave my mascara on for more than 36 hours. I really don't know who 
keeps it on longer than that. That's a lot of time. Um, but it does live up to the volume. So they've got, it says 90% of people saw dra dramatic volume. Um, said it instantly lifted lashes and lengthened lashes. So I agree with all the statements that is written on that one. The only thing I don't agree with on the roller lash, it doesn't really make my eyes look more wide open. And it doesn't, well, actually it didn't do any of those. It didn't make my eyes look more wide open. I had to use a curling, or well, I normally have to use a lash curler. Um, it didn't lift my lashes and it doesn't have a long lasting curl. That's not to say it's like a bad product. It just doesn't work for me on my little lashes and I have really really straight lashes too so they're not very curly at all. Yeah as I said I just wanted to do this comparison video just to kind of see side by side what the application was of both of them and how they actually compared against each other. I personally would go for the Bad Girl Bang. I just think I like the wand a lot more. I do like the curve of the wand in the roller lash. It does make the application a little bit easier. Um, so I'll show you that wand there. It is just a lot smaller and curved, where it, whereas the Bad Girl Bang one is a lot longer and it is completely straight. Um, so it does make application not that easy in comparison because the roller lash you just kind of put at the base of your lashes and go up because it curves around them. Obviously that's the point. Um, but I definitely agree more so with what this is trying to do with the volume and it's crazy. It's also pretty easy to remove. I just use the Clinique eye makeup remover um, for both of these. I find obviously the roll lash is a lot easier to remove. Um, so yeah, I did just want to do this video to just put a side by side comparison out there for no other reason than I wanted to see really. <gasps> But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some sort of insight. And if you were thinking about purchasing the Bad Gal Bang, then I really think you should. It is a really, really good mascara. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it since using it. Um, also, the Roller Lash, good mascara. Just doesn't really work for me. It doesn't really live up to the hype. But obviously, there are a lot of people that disagree with me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.